Good morning, everyone. Today, in a special way, we would like to welcome all of our school families, our children who are watching with us today to celebrate this Mass. On Wednesdays, every week, we would normally have Mass with our school children. The entire school gathers to give thanks to God for the blessings that He has bestowed upon them. And we ask the Lord in a special way to open their hearts, their minds, and their spirits to His knowledge, wisdom, and understanding. As they cannot be with us physically here today, we wanted to dedicate this Mass, mass in a special way to them, to welcome all of our children and to welcome all of our school families in a special way today. Welcome, it's good to see you, and know that you are all in our prayers. Thank you for joining us this morning. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Amen. The grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, let us now pause to acknowledge our sinfulness, our faults, and our failures as we place our trust in the Lord's pardon and in His strength. Lord Jesus, you are right. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ Jesus, you bring peace to us sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Enlighten, O God of compassion, the hearts of your children, sanctified by penance, and in your kindness. Grant those you stir to a sense of devotion, a gracious hearing when they cry out to you. For our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Daniel. King Nebuchadnezzar said, Is it true, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, that you will not serve my God or worship the golden statue that I set up? Be ready now to fall down and worship the statue I had made whenever you hear the sound of the trumpet, flute, lyre, harp, psaltery, bagpipe, and all the other musical instruments. Otherwise, you shall be instantly cast into the white-hot furnace. And who is the God who can deliver you out of my hands? Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego answered King Nebuchadnezzar, There is no need for us to defend ourselves before you in this matter. If our God, whom we serve, can save us from the white-hot furnace and from your hands, O King, may he save us. But even if he will not, know, O King, that we will not serve your God or worship the golden statue that you set up. King Nebuchadnezzar's face became livid with utter rage against Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. He ordered the furnace to be heated seven times more than usual, and had some of the strongest men of his army bind Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, and cast them into the white-hot furnace. Nebuchadnezzar rose in haste and asked his nobles, Did we not cast three men bound into the fire? Assuredly, O king, they answered, but, he replied, I see four men, unfettered and unhurt, walking in the fire, and the fourth looks like a son of God. Nebuchadnezzar exclaimed, 
Blessed be the God of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, who sent his angel to deliver the servants who trusted in him. They disobeyed the royal command and yielded their bodies rather than serve or worship any god except their own god. The word of the Lord. Thanks Thanks be to God. Glory and praise forever. Glory Glory and praise forever. Blessed are you, O Lord, the God of our fathers, praiseworthy and and exalted above all forever. And blessed is your holy and glorious name, praiseworthy and exalted above all for all ages. Glory Glory and praise forever. Blessed are you in the temple of your holy glory, Praiseworthy and exalted above all forever. Glory Glory and praise forever. Blessed are you on the throne of your kingdom. Praiseworthy and exalted above all forever. Glory Glory and praise forever. Blessed are you who look into the depths from your throne upon the cherubim. Praiseworthy and exalted above all forever. Glory Glory and and praise forever. Blessed are you in the firmament of heaven, praiseworthy and glorious forever. Glory and praise forever. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. Blessed are they who have kept the word with a generous heart and yield a harvest through perseverance. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to those Jews who believed in him, If you remain in my word, you will truly be my disciples, and you will know the truth, and the truth will set you free. They answered him, We are descendants of Abraham been enslaved to anyone. How can you say you will become free? Jesus answered them, Amen, Amen, I say to you, everyone who commits sin is a slave of sin. A slave does not remain in a household forever, but a son always remains. So if the son frees you, then you will truly be free. I know that you are descendants of Abraham, but you are trying to kill me, because my word has no room among you. I tell you what I have seen in the Father's presence. Then do what you have heard from the Father. They answered and said to him, Our father is Abraham. Jesus said to them, If you were Abraham's children, you would be doing the works of Abraham. But now you are trying to kill me, a man who has told you the truth that I heard from God. Abraham did not do this. You are doing the works of your father. So they said to him, We were not born of fornication. We have one father, God. Jesus said to them, If God were your father, you would love me, for I came from God and am here. I did not come on my own, but he sent me. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ.
As I mentioned, today we celebrate in a special way with our children, our school children, and their parents, who in some ways have had to make very many adaptations to their schedule, to their way of life at home, especially when our children are not present here in their classrooms. It is outside of their everyday schedule, their everyday routine. And I must admit, we too are quite changed by this experience of being quarantined or, or with the order to stay at home, where we miss the sound of the children playing outside of the rectory, on the football field, on the basketball field. Whereas sometimes before, we would make comments about the noise. We got used to it, and now we miss it. Perhaps even our parents are feeling the same way, but maybe in a different sense, that they knew there was a, a certain time when they could be in the school, and they could make plans to do different things, perhaps take time to themselves, do their own work, or visit family members and friends. But it is very different now. Some adapt adaptations had to be made. Perhaps even my dear children, parents and faithful of our parish, we have recognized that we took some things for granted. One of those things certainly is being here present with our faith family, friends, our school children. Subdeacon Shetty, Father John Mario and Father Brian and I have learned new things and experienced new things by staying home, by being in close quarters with each other. We had to make some adaptations to our lives. We cook more for each other. We see each other more because we do not have all of the appointments or sacraments that we normally perform and we do not see each other. So it's a new thing for us. And we come here today to listen to Jesus now saying that there is something different here. Some adaptations need to be made in the lives of those who went about in their everyday routine. Today, specifically, Jesus is teaching those Jews, it says, that believed in him, those who were around him, those who were learning new things. Some of Jesus' teachings were very radical for them. Some changes needed to be made, much like the changes that are happening for us today. We did not expect it. Many of them came as a surprise. And Jesus is teaching them that they need to let go of their old ways. To recognize that in Him, in Jesus, is the freedom of the Father, the freedom to love truly, the freedom to have great hope that they can overcome their sins and that they can be with God forever, rather than just stuck in their old ways or stuck on earth, but to join Him in His kingdom in heaven. It also teaches them about having true faith. For Jesus says in the Gospel today that He is the truth, and the truth will set you free. And it is this freedom that we need, freedom from the attachments of the world that we are learning about now in quarantine, freedom from the attachments of materialism, freedom from the attachments of egoism, of greed, power and authority, popularity perhaps, worrying about how other people see us, feel about us or think about us. Jesus says, we can let go of all of that. Why? It is slavery. Slavery to those things do not allow us to know the truth. And do not allow us to be free. To have faith, to love, and to have great hope. Jesus frees us from this. On the cross, we see that Jesus chooses the cross to free us from sin and death. 
He does it from it. He does it neglect his duties as the Son of God. And he does it, brothers, ever true to his God, to his Father, and never wavers from being true to us. In the first reading today, we see that these three, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, are tempted, they're tested, and they don't give up their faith in God. They truly believe in Him, and even to the point of being thrown into the fire of King Nebuchadnezzar, they will not be slaves to his false gods. They will not be fit slaves to his untruth, because they know that truth belongs to God. Dear brothers and sisters, the truth is that God made good of his promise by sending his Son into our world, into our existence. And as he says in the Gospel today, that he himself comes from the Father, that he is truth, and we know that he is God among us. Our God loves us so much that He became as one of us. The truth is that He came to set us free. Freed from the slavery of sin. And free from that death that worries us. As I entered the sacristy this morning, Subdeacon Shetty and Father Brian got me real good. But now I have to go and plan something too. May God bless you all. Keep healthy. Pray together. Open the scriptures and remain faithful in hope and in true love. God bless. My dear children, brothers and sisters, we cannot live on bread alone, but on every word that comes forth from the mouth of God. Having heard God's word, we now turn to Him in prayer. Let us ask for the eyes to behold the glory of God in all his works. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us ask for the spirit of fidelity for those who are not free to gather together for Christian worship. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us ask God that through the example of our lives, others will come to know him. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us ask for the spirit of creativity for artists, musicians, and all who beautify our worship. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the special intentions of this Mass, Tim Ryan, or Deacon George Essif, and the Bakod family, and for the deceased, we pray for the repose of their soul and the consolation of the families, for Felicita Chua, Teresa, Dimaga, Francisco Iton, and Luz Chacha Thayer. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. And for all the intentions and the silence of our hearts. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. prayer. Father, be with us as we prepare for the Easter festival. Listen to our prayers, those spoken out loud, and those in the silence of our hearts. Grant all that we ask through your will, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your seed to the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed, Blessed be God, God forever. forever. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness and sacrificial offerings, which you have given to be offered to the honor of your name, grant that they may become remedies for our healing, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The 
The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation. Thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For through the saving passion of your Son, the world has received a heart to confess the infinite power of your majesty, since by the wondrous power of the cross, your judgment on the world is now revealed and the authority of Christ crucified. And so, Lord, with all the angels and saints, we too give you thanks as an exaltation we acclaim, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, he broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church, spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Blessed Joseph, her spouse, the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, 
on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. Graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And Amen. with your spirit. Let us offer each other a sign of peace. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take, take away, away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Let us pray. May the mysteries we have received, O Lord, bring us heavenly medicine, that they may purge all evil from our hearts and strengthen us with eternal protection. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Before I give the final blessing, I would just like to say thank you for joining us today. Please know that Father John Mario, Father Brian, Subdeacon Shadi, and Brother Miguel, we are all praying for you during this time of changes, of adaptations to our lives. As I said before, please be patient with one another. Children, be patient with your parents. Parents, be patient with your children. This is all a time of learning for us and perhaps even a time of God's grace. God is good all the time. All the time, God is good. And so we pray for you, dear children, and we look forward to the day when we will see you again. Please keep us in your prayers and know that you are all in ours. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow your heads and pray for God's blessing. 
Attend, Almighty God, to the prayers of your people, and as you endow them with confident hope in your compassion, let them feel as ever the effects of your mercy. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go in peace. Thanks Thanks be to God. God. Have a beautiful day, everyone. Thank you. My name is Father Brian Humphrey and Jeremiah Shoup, and we're from St. Mary Magdalene's in Camarillo. And we're here because we know you can't come to church, so we hope to bring church to you. That's right. Every Friday we are inviting you to, to join us. Uh, we have this little thing we call the living room. The living room. Oh, should we, did, oh, we, we should, should have done it together. together. Okay. The, the living room. room. And every Friday, what we're going to do is we are going to uh, be reminded that the church, the building, the physical building is closed, but our hearts, our lives are still very much alive. There's a lot of work, good, great work to be done. Um, So we're going to lead you, spiritually guide you here a little bit, go through some scripture, some prayer. You might even sing a a song or two. Yeah, sing some (laughs) songs, some praise and worship. There There we go. go. Wherever the the spirit guides us. But um, the biggest thing is, why are we doing this? We're doing this because we miss you. We miss you, and we want to stay connected. We miss seeing you at the church, and in the Adoration Chapel, and the school, all, the, all of our, our school parents, we miss you very much. Our youth ministry, our confirmation candidates, yeah. Well, everybody, RCA. So we want to stay connected and be in that communion of love, because our faith is still alive, like Jeremiah is saying. Amen. So we hope that we'll be able to provide you some, some of these videos, and that every Friday, you'll have something to, to share bring into your homes. So we're praying for you and um, we'll see you soon. Adios. God bless.